So let me think about, well, how can we set up this problem? Well, pretty straightforward. I want to think about a consumer who wants to maximize the integral from 0 to infinity over his infinite future, e to the minus rho t. Okay, rho is the rate of time preference. You guys have all seen this, I'm sure. That e to the minus rt, u of c of t dt. Okay? That is, I want to maximize the discounted value of my utility over forever. Okay? People understand this model? Okay. And in this model, I'm going to have a, my technology. What is C going to be? C of t equals f of k minus i, right, of, of t. Everything's of t. Everybody agrees with that? C is just the difference between output and investment. So C of t equals f of k minus delta k minus k dot. That's going to be my consumption at date t is just output minus depreciation minus k dot. Everybody agree? So max integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus rho t u of f of k of t minus delta k of t minus k dot of t. That's going to be my maximization problem. I want to maximize my lifetime utility. My choice variable is, what do you want to think of my choice variable? Probably k dot is a nice way to think about it. How fast should I grow my capital stock at any date t? Okay. What's my first order condition going to be? How do you want to do it? You want to hold future net investment constant. You want to hold future gross investment constant. Let's just say hold future net constant. Hold a future k dots constant. Okay? So what's the, what's the perturbation? It's the one I have on the board there, right? We're going to increase k dot today, and then we're going to keep that extra k forever. What's my first order con condition going to be? E minus e to the minus rho t. What's the cost of increasing investment today? U prime of t. Everybody agrees with that? That is, I give up a unit of consumption, which is worth u prime. That's how much utility I would have gotten today from that unit of consumption. That's the cost of creating another unit of capital. Right? The cost of investment, pretty clear, foregone consumption. That's what I gave up. And then what do I gain? Well, from period T on, again, discounted, what am I going to gain? Well, what am I going to gain? I'm going to gain U prime of tau. And how much extra consumption am I going to get? Remember, I'm holding k dot fixed in the future. So what am I going to get? I'm going to get f prime k of tau minus delta d tau. Right? I, I guess I need another parenthesis. Or I could have erased the first one or keep that one. But that's it. So my first order condition is going to be and 1 equals the integral from t to infinity e to the minus rho tau minus t u prime of tau divided by u prime of t, f prime of k of tau minus
minus delta d tau. That's my first order condition. Anybody know what this is? What is that? What is that? It's just the market rate of discount between dates ta t and tau, right? This is going to be the market discount factor on consumption between dates t and tau. It's going to be equal to t to infinity e to the minus integral from t to tau of r of tau, uh, r of s dS. Right? That's what it's going to be. Okay? So it's the integral of all those short run discount factors between r of s, between t and tau, times f prime k of tau minus delta d tau. This is just a market, this is just a present discounted value of net returns on capital. These are the market discount factors from t to tau times how much you get at date tau. So this is the market value of those future net returns on capital. Remember, these are net returns. This is the market discount factor. Think about if R was constant. This would just be R the e to the minus R tau minus T. Right? So it's just the market discount factor over that period. You could write it as, if you wanted to think about there being a, 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 uh, um, a yield curve, you could think about this as R T to tau times t minus tau minus t, right? It could be that. It could be this is the, the interest fact, the, uh, the interest rate between t and tau multiplied by tau minus t. That's what that integral would be, okay? Be the, if you had a yield curve at date t, okay? Or if you want to think about this as duration, call this R of s where this is like some discount, where this is some, some duration factor, be the yield curve. 